Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Trace Clinic. Today I'm going to show you how to do the back-to-back -back hook that we use for tuna and for queenfish. Very simply what we require, some 60 pound FC fluorocarbon for the tuna, 50 pound if you're fishing for queenfish. I've got hoodlum, three O's, and you require two of them. Some normal kingfisher latex cotton, or heat shrink, a toothpick, and of course our number four power swivel. Let's start, okay. FC fluorocarbon, about 1.2 meters in length. What I need to do is first of all, attach our number four power swivel, and all we're gonna do is go through the eye, and it's a simple figure of eight. One, two, three times around, back through, like so. There's your figure of eight, lubricate, slide down. So there is our knot. All we do is cut off the tag end, like so. 1.2 meters, and then we just snip off our fluorocarbon. Okay, guys, we take two of our 3 mustard hoodlum hooks out. There they are. We take our heat shrink, slide it over the eye of the two hooks, like so. Take our lighter, I'm just gonna change hands quickly, because this is where it gets a bit painful. And there we go. Give it a couple of seconds just to go tight. Change hands again. Very simple. Okay, just give it a couple of seconds to cool down. Then what we do is take our fluorocarbon, stick it through the eyes. Figure of eight. You can do a Rapala knot if you want. Now, what we do is take something that's round. Let's get around those pliers quickly. Around those pliers, just insert it. And pull as tight as we can. So there we go, we've got our loop, cut off the tag end, but we've still got all the movement, and that's important. You can, if you want, obviously when you're doing it at home, put one drop of super glue on it, just to stop that knot from actually moving. Okay, so there you've got a lot of movement, and I'll show you why we do that as I go along when it comes to the baiting part of it. I'm now gonna show you how we do the double hook, with simple latex cotton. Again, if you don't have any heat shrink, we take two hooks. <clears throat> and there's our hoodlums, our 3 hoodlums. I'm just gonna take some cotton quickly. What's going on here? And all I do is take the latex cotton and start wrapping it around. There we go, around the shrink of the hook. And we just carry on going. And you'll feel it becomes very, very tight. Okay, and then to finish it off, just do a couple of half hitches. This latex cotton is absolutely fantastic, easy to work with. And there we go, guys. So there's the latex cotton version. And again, all we're gonna do is either tie a Rapala knot on it or that figure of eight. Okay. Now, let's take our bait. Let's do the baiting part of it. 
So we take our mozzie, like so. You can, if you want, <coughs> insert, and uh, for this video purpose, I'm gonna do it, just behind the head of the mozzie, and it works extremely well if you're gonna trawl this bait. We just make a little incision under the skin, and remember not to go too deep into your bait, very important. You just wanna go under the skin. So we go under the skin a little bit, take our scissors, cut that off, and all we do is we just push it. There we go, so now your toothpick is now under the actual skin of the mozzie. We then take our hoodlum hook, where I've gone underneath, we're just gonna skin hook it and around. Very important that you don't go too deep into your mozzie. You wanna keep him alive as long as possible. So there we go. Now that toothpick is sitting just under the skin and that hook is actually holding it together. So now you can put it out and actually trawl your mozzie behind your paddle ski or you can trawl it on your boat, it's up to you. But there's your live bait moving around, doing its thing. The tuna inhales it, double hook. And like I said before, this has got all the movement that you need in it. So the tuna will inhale it. The minute you put tension on it and actually pull hard, that figure of eight over there will pull tight on itself. Okay. So I'm just gonna pull this quickly so you can see how hard you can actually pull before it actually pulls off. And that's as simple as that, guys. So, two quick ways of doing a double hook back to back, heat shrink, or your kingfisher's um, bait cotton. It works very, very well. And there it is, guys. Simple as that. Enjoy.